Now, I want to reiterate a point. I made clear earlier today to the folks who have been impacted by Helene, this impact and will be now impacted by Milton. Over the last few weeks, there's been a reckless and irresponsible and relentless promotion of disinformation and outright lies about what's going on. It's undermining confidence in the people of Florida and incredible rescue and recovery work that has been undertaken. Literally, there are, there are thousands of fellow Americans who are putting their lives at stake and putting on the line to do the dangerous work that needs to be done now. And it's harmful to those who most need the help. Quite frankly, these lies are un-American, and there is simply no place for them. Not now, not ever. Former President Trump has led this onslaught of lies. Assertions have been made that property is being confiscated. It's simply not true. They're saying people impacted by these storms have received $750 in cash and no more. That is simply not true either. They're saying the money needed for these crises are being diverted to migrants. What the hell heck are they talking about? Stop it. It's outrageous. It's just not true. Now, the claims are getting even more bizarre. Marjorie Taylor Greene, the congresswoman from Georgia, is now saying the federal government is literally controlling the weather. We're controlling the weather. It's beyond ridiculous. It's so stupid. It's got to stop.